Hey guys, John Martini here with a new tool called Wire Color Tools. This tool is designed to make it easy for you to set the wire colors of your objects in your scene based on various parameters. So to get started, we have color swatches here. They do simply just that. When you select an object or a set of objects, you click the swatch you want to assign them that wire color, and that's pretty much it. You got around 24 options here to pick from, popular colors you'd commonly see, and easily distinguishable, distinguishable between each other. Next, we have the random wire color section. So first off, we have all layers. So it's going to kind of group the objects by layer and assign them each a color. So this is a good way to break up your scene. So you can see here I have a couple layers. Everything on plants gets one color and then everything on rocks because there's no sub layers inside here. So Next we have selected layers. So it's only going to do the selected layers over here in the Explorer. It, otherwise it's the same thing as the button above it but just only affecting the selected ones. Next we have all materials. So it goes to your scene and finds all the used materials in their objects and assigns a unique color to the objects based on the materials. And like before, same thing down here, but it only affects the selected. So if we select this plant back here, you can see uh, all the objects that share that same material will, will get a new wire color as well. So it's always the same. Next, we have all objects. So every object in the scene gets a unique wire color. And then we have selected objects. So if we go ahead and say select uh, this plant and a few other ones here and do selected objects, they'll just get random wire colors between the, the selection. Next, we have the gradient wire color section. So here it's kind of useful if you want to do gradations based on certain conditions. So we have green to blue. We'll do it based on selection. I'll just go ahead and select all these down here and click apply to selection and you can see that we get a nice gradient. Now if you do want to flip the gradient you can just click this and then reapply. Um, if you want to apply a color that's within this gradient you can just right click and it'll grab the color under the cursor and apply that directly to the selection. So we have different sorting options down here. If we do it based on name uh, it'll sort the objects and do the gradient based on alphabetical naming. Then we have hierarchy. So these stones in particular, I linked them from right to left so the parent is up here. So if I select them all, you can see they get a gradation based on their hierarchy. Now if we select everything in the scene and do it based on volume, what it does here is it takes the bounding box and applies a wire color based on that. So the largest thing gets green and the smallest will get blue. And you can customize these by picking, you know, the swatch here. We'll go maybe uh, blue to red. We can do X position, we can do the Y, and we can also do the Z position. Um, might be more noticeable here, and you can kind of get that gradation. So check out the tool, let me know what your thoughts are, and if there's maybe a new sorting option you would like to have. Otherwise, enjoy. Thanks.